Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be different than the usual because I'm not going to cover a utility or a program, but rather I will show you a script I wrote this week. I was inspired to write this script by a post on the front page of Reddit about a random wallpaper changer or Windows and people wanted something similar on Mac, so I made the script to change the wallpaper to a random royalty free image from the website Unsplash. I've made two scripts, one for Mac and one for Linux and BSD. The reason why they are two scripts is that on Mac you don't have the X window system as you do on Linux and BSD. Let's get started with the Mac version. If you want to go straight to the Linux and BSD version, skip to the time slot shown on the video or in the description below. First thing first, we download the Git repository. To get a better understanding of how the script works, I'm going to give you a minimal description of it. The script consists of an infinite while loop. Inside this while loop I had to do some weird stuff as macOS keeps some files cached, so even though I would download an image, set it as a wallpaper and then download the second image, the first one would still be present in cache and I couldn't set the new one as the wallpaper. To get around this, I downloaded the image with the wget and muted the output by redirecting it into slash dev slash null. Then I made the directory with a random name. I do this so the image when it's downloaded won't conflict with the cached one. I move the image into the new folder and convert it into a pic.jpg. Now to set the wallpaper I use an Apple script. This was very tricky as it did not support simple regular expressions so I had to use exit commands. When all is done I remove the folder to clean everything up and wait 10 minutes to do this all over again. Now for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to change the sleep time to 0 seconds so you can see the wallpaper changing in the background. To run the script headless in the background you need to write the name of the script and an end sign and then this own. This will make it possible for you to close the terminal and let the script do its job in the background. Now for the Linux and BSD script. This script is shorter as I didn't have to think around the wallpaper caching issue on macOS but it required an external tool named FEH, so FE. You can download it using your favorite package manager of choice. The first thing we are going to do is clone the git repo. I will start off by showing you the script. It has the same general idea as the Mac one, but it is shorter and it uses FEH to set the wallpaper. The first thing that it does, it, it deletes the old wallpapers generated by the script. Then it downloads the picture, it converts it into a JPG, then it sets it using the FEH program. After that it waits for 10 minutes and then the whole process starts all over again. I will do the same as I did on the Mac version and I will set the sleep to 0 seconds so you can see the wallpapers changing as fast as they are downloaded. Pretty much it. As always, you can find all the links in the video description. Be sure to check out my other videos to stay tuned as I post a new video every Saturday. Until next time, have fun thinkering. 